Israel, a science and medical research success story, owes many of its major establishments, projects and breakthroughs to three generations of leadership of the Wolfson family. Sir Isaac Wolfson, Lord Wolfson of Marlebon, Dame Janet Wolfson de Baton, and the Honourable Mrs. Laura Wolfson Townsley. The Wolfson Family Charitable Trust and the Wolfson Foundation, dedicated to the promotion of science, technology and medicine in Israel, have recently partnered with the Grand Family to establish a National Center for Personalized Medicine at the Weizmann Institute of Science, available to all medical and biomedical scientists in Israel. It's extreme success, it's an unbelievable success, well beyond our expectation, being used by all the universities, researchers in hospitals, providing very sophisticated services. We've been working already on 300 projects, Weizmann projects, and about 150 projects with uh, the rest of Israel, which is a major achievement. I think that this is characterizes more than anything the activity of the Wilson Foundation in Israel, sitting the money into important projects, providing very sophisticated services. Not far away, at the Wolfson Wing for Growth and Measurements, Professor Heilblum seeks to formulate a new paradigm for understanding and designing microelectronic devices. All of us are going to be, in a way, connected to some kind of a gadget. And these gadgets are going to be more and more complicated. In the future, computers will become quantum computers that will be able to do many things in parallel. So this research will be very important in the future. At the Sheba Medical Center, Professor Israeli identifies the biological drivers of high-risk leukemias and targets them with precise, personally designed therapies. Do we now cure 9 out of every 10 children with leukemia? Incredible achievement. Every child that is cured from leukemia should have a normal lifespan, so preventing toxicity, especially long-term toxicity, is very, very important. At Bar Ilan University, Professor Gedanken expands the uses of sonochemistry. Two million people are dying every year in the hospital, in the hospital, out of bacterial infection. Making the hospital a safer place is a global problem. We are focused on coating medical devices with antibacterial nanoparticles and therefore avoid creating of bacterial infection biofilms on the surface of the substance. At Ben Gurion University, Professor Birk has deciphered over 35 hereditary diseases prevalent amongst Jews and Arabs. We both succeeded in lowering infant mortality rate in the Bedouin community by about 30% and near eradicating two of the most common severe hereditary diseases in Sephardic Jews. The other side of things is that through our studies, one finds new drug targets for autism, for attention deficit disorder, for psoriasis, for gout. At the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Professor Sarek indicates that kalinomeres, which mediate brain-to-body signals, play a significant role in neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. The support of the Wolfson Foundation to this building went mainly to a central unit where we bring our samples and get them sequenced for us. So in a lot of the European groups that approach me, or American for that extent, they would say, you know how to analyze the data, but that starts with doing the work. And that was one of the important reasons why we won our Advanced European Research Community Award. Professor Dodovic has implemented new possibilities for high-resolution imaging and material processing. One of the most exciting experiments that we're performing in my group showed the ability to in fact prepare a movie that tells us how an electron escapes from an atom. This is one of the fastest phenomena in nature. It evolves during two hundredths of a billionth of a billionth of a second. Nobody has directly observed that before and we were able, luckily, to look for the first time how this phenomena evolves on its natural time scale. Professor Jack Gilrone has developed strategies for enhancing membrane-based water treatment processes, 
vital to water quality and resource renewal. Many places in the world do not have safe drinking water because of contaminants. And if we can make better membrane processes that are robust and can be used in various places around the world, we can help provide fit drinking water for populations that today have difficulty obtaining it. Professor Ben Avraham's knowledge-based approach promotes the sustainable development of Israel's newly found large natural gas reserves. Everything changed in 2009 when Tamar oil field was discovered. We were not equipped to study the deep ocean. And this when Wolfson came in. Wolfson came in to help us build infrastructure. Professor Cohen and Professor Segev strive to impact the creation of faster and more compact memory devices. We had a vision quite some time ago to look at the effects that happen when uh, very short pulses of laser are going through the atmosphere. The platform that the Wolfson Foundation uh, provided enables us a new domain of experiments which has never been done here before. At Tel Aviv University, Professor Avraham and Dr. Mayo have touched upon a deeper understanding of the molecular basis for hearing loss. We identified the first microRNAs that are present in the auditory and vestibular systems, and these really help define critical points that can be manipulated in order for us to be able to work on therapeutics for hearing loss. The Wolfson Family Charitable Trust and the Wolfson Foundation support most major hospitals in Israel. They have made notable contributions to the physical landscape of Israel's major universities and medical centers, erecting nine buildings as landmarks of excellence and incubators for future accomplishments. The Trust and the Foundation have also continually provided relentless support to key cultural institutions and welfare organizations. The Wolfson Foundation invested in both technology and health. And I think they helped a great deal. You can see the consequences over years and years and years. Today, the third generation of the Wolfson family continues its long-lasting legacy and mission maintaining Israel at the forefront of science, healthcare, education, and the arts.